guys, so we have an urgent information coming out. A weather satellite detect 515 mile long lightning flash setting new world record. Are you serious? 2025 is going to go down the history book. A stunning display of nature's power. Researchers have confirmed a new world record for the longest lightning flash ever recorded, stretching an astonishing 515 miles. That's 829 kilometers across the Great Plains of the United States of America. Alright guys, before I start, for those of you that want to send us letters, a prayer request, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife Jessica Santiago at 3432 US Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. And for those of you that want to help and support the channel, we do have the Cash App link and the PayPal link in the comments box and also the description box. Thank you again for your support. Your support is what keeps us on air. Thank you so much for that. All right, Patreon is going to be tomorrow. All right, so I just got home from Tampa. It was a long ride. It was a very long ride. I had to do a couple of errands. And uh, I have to fix that beeping sound, the fire alarm thing, you know, that we have in the ceiling. For some reason, I, cha I changed the battery. I changed the battery. It's a brand new battery. And it sounds just like my mom's house. It sounds like I'm in New Jersey. That beep sound it, it, it just you know my wife is like it's you know it feel peaceful listening to that i'm like no, no, no. i don't like it <laughs> so, uh but uh, we do have multiple fire alarm all over the house and uh everything else is working fine uh i will fix that one i might have to replace it go on um, go to home depot get a new one all right so the colossal mega flash you got mega quake and now the mega flash which occurred during a thunderstorm on October 22nd, 2017, extended from eastern Texas to near Kansas City, Missouri, surpassing the previous record by nearly 50 miles. The discovery detail in a recent study published in the Bulletin of the American Meteorological Society highlights the remarkable capabilities of modern satellite technology and uncovering extreme weather phenomena. The record breaking lightning bolt, known as a mega flash, was detected through archival data from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, GO 16 satellite. Uh, equipped with a geostationary lightning mapper. Unlike typical lightning bolts, which average less than 10 miles, look at that, 10 miles in length, mega flashes are defined as lightning strike that extend at least 62 miles as 100 kilometers. This new record clearly demonstrates the incredible power of natural environment, said Randall, professor in Rapporto of the weather and climate, you know what, extreme for the World Meteorological Organization. The 2017 mega flash went unnoticed at the time of its occurrence, only coming to light through a meticulous re examination of satellite data. So this happened in 2017, but with all these new technology, they had, basically they found this out. They found out the uh, 500 something miles of lightning flash. It is likely that even greater extreme still exist and that we still, excuse me, and that we will be able to observe them as additional high quality lightning measurement accumulate over time. Now you have Mr. Savano noted, emphasizing the potential for future discoveries as lightning detection technology continues to advance. Mega flashes such as this record setting bolt are rare. 
and typically occur within meals um mesocal mesocal uh convention or conventive system mces excuse me mcs a massive thunderstorm cluster that can span hundreds of miles the great plains a known hotspot for such storms provided the perfect conditions for this extraordinary event so there are only two places on the entire planet where this kind of mega flash is likely to occur the WMO stated the highlighting the unique meteorological condition of the Great Plains and the parts of South America the GOES 16 satellite lightning mapper played a pivotal role in a measuring measuring the flashes unprecedented length unlike earlier ground-based radio network which were limited in their ability to track lightning over vast distances satellites based mappers provide a bird's eye view capturing approximately 1 million bolts per day now this technology leaps has revolutionized the study of lightning allowing researchers to document previously unimaginable extremes. Extreme lightning is a source of wonder, but also a major hazard that claims many, many lives around the world every year. And one thing I tell you guys, here in the state of Florida, we have seen a lot of lightnings. I don't know if you guys see me doing that live stream two days ago, but... It just, it seems like these lightning are just a whole different ball game. And then in one location, it flashes for like an hour straight. In that same location, it flashes for like two seconds and it stops. And then it comes back three seconds later, it stops. So it flashes, flashes, and then it stops for like a few seconds and it flashes, flashes. So we are having that here in the state of Florida. And there's no rain. They, again, there's no rain, and uh, we see this at nighttime. All right, so the confirmation of this 515-mile lightning flash officially recognized in the WMO archive of weather and, I'm going to skip that name, marks a significant milestone in atmospheric science. It not only showcases the raw power of nature but also underscores the critical role of satellite technology in enhancing our understanding of extreme weather events. As scientists continue to refine their tools and analyze new data, the discovery of even longer or more intense mega flashes may be on the horizon, further illuminating the dynamic and unpredictable nature of Earth's atmosphere. All right. Very powerful. Weather satellite detect 515 miles long lightning flash setting new world record. Wow. Okay. Give me one second here, guys. It seems like we have a breaking news. And I did talk about this one. But End Time Headlines is putting out this information here. I want to see what's going on. We did talk about this developing uh, New York City bracing for severe flooding. So there's going to be a lot more. And I did post a video. Like I said, the link will be in the comments box. It's very important to bring these updates. New York City is on high alert. Wow, okay, so um, once again, uh, a very important update. New York City is on high alert as a powerful storm system threatens to unleash up to five inches of rain in just a few hours, raising fears of severe flooding that could disrupt the evening commute on Thursday, July 31st. Now, the National Weather Service has issued a flood watch for the city and surrounding areas effective from 2 p.m. 
Thursday through 8 a.m. Friday. So this thing is going to last till tomorrow. With rainfall raise it, uh, excuse me, rainfall rates potentially reaching 2 to 3 inches per hour. New Jersey has declared a state of emergency and city officials are urging residents to prepare for dangerous conditions. Now, I did post a video that uh, Americans are being told to have emergency kits ready because of all these events that is going on. And uh, again, even if you go to the FEMA website, they have a list of emergency preparation kits, you know, flashlight, water, uh, make sure you have uh, your cell phone, battery, uh, fully charged, preparation stuff. And again, guys, I'm not trying to spook anyone here, but we are seeing a lot of stuff here. Flash flood, earthquake. I mean, some very strong, you know, world events. We must be prepared and uh, stay in prayer. The National Weather Service forecasts widespread rainfall total of one and a half to three inches across the tri-state area but some localized areas could see it as much as five to eight inches creating a significant risk of flash flooding heavy rainfall is possible with any storm and could cause flooding wherever it falls especially in poor drainage or lying low-lying areas now it says here the timing of the heaviest rain expected during the late afternoon and evening rush hour could exacerbate travel disruption, particularly for commuters relying on subways, buses, and roadways. New York City subway system, boy oh boy, I don't know if you guys seen the video I posted. Ooh, they're going to have to rebuild all that. Uh, NYC subway already vulnerable to heavy rain faces a heightened risk of flooding. The Metropolitan Tran Transportation Authority (MTA) has noted that subways typically experience issues when rainfall rates exceed one inch per hour, and Thursday forecasts could bring rates three times that amount. The reality is that the subways are underground. They are where water will flow. Mm. That's very true. I've seen videos. I mean, just, I mean, it just, all these water just coming out of nowhere. It's like a pipe burst or something. He emphasized the importance of staying informed through trusted sources like notify NYC and avoiding unnecessary travel during the storm. New York City Emergency Management Department has issued a travel advisory, uh, travel advisory warning that street, basement, and transit flooding could make travel hazardous. So these are very important updates here, guys. Flash flooding can start within minutes, so prepare now. Have your preparation kit emergency kit ready the agency posted on x urging residents to charge devices stock essentials and move vehicles from low lying areas once again for many many people out there saying that uh, they didn't tell us to have emergency kits they are telling us you just have to pay attention you have to do your research Americans are being told to stock up and have emergency kit. We are seeing a lot of things happening. Commissioner Mr. Zach underscored the urgency saying, This storm system could bring intense rainfall rates and amounts in a very short period of time. Every New Yorker should always be prepared for dangerous weather. Residents in flood-prone areas particularly those in basement apartments, are being advised to be ready to relocate to higher ground if condition worsens. The City Department of Environmental Protection, Department of Sanitation, and Department of Transportation are actively clearing catch uh, basin in vulnerable neighborhoods 
to reduce flooding risk. The governor, Kathy, has also mobilized state agency encouraging residents to sign up for real-time weather alerts by texting their county or bureau name to 333111. And that's why I've been telling people, you need to download the National Weather Service app and turn on the notification. You got to turn on the notification. I know a lot of people are like, oh, Lewis, I don't really don't care about the emergency text alert. Guys, that emergency text alert, all that type of stuff, conspiracy, again, just, again, that's all just conspiracy stuff. You need to have these notifications turned on on your phone. Again, so that way, you know, things happen. Let's say you're working and you got your young ones at school. You turn off the phone notification and guess what? You got all that rain and flood and uh, the school is calling you. Hey, you got to pick up your young ones. It says here, while the heaviest rain is expected to subside by midday Friday, the National Weather Service warns the urban area with poor drainage and low-lying regions face an elevated risk of, you know what, flooding. All right. So I'm just going to skip the rest here. So again, flooding can develop suddenly, often faster than forecasts or warnings can be issued, the National Weather Service said. All right, so this is all the information here, guys. We are definitely seeing a lot of stuff happening in 2025. That lightning news happened in 2017, but with all these new technology, they just happened to find all these new system data and stuff like that. But we are definitely seeing a lot of things happening in 2025. New York City is on high alert. It goes to say, uh, tell you that the sea level is rising or the city is sinking because of too much weight. Thank you so much for watching. For those of you that want to send us letters, a prayer request, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife. Uh, give me a second here, guys. Oh, my wife, um, Jessica Santiago at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $5 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream once a week. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father except through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.